Felix Kwachi Fosu served as a minister in his government, a deputy minister, that is. And he also speaks for the campaign. Mr. Kwachi Fosu, you're welcome to Eyewitness News. Thank you very much. I've played um, key excerpts of uh, the former president's speech. I was talking to Richard Ahiang by a short while ago. He says, you have been tried and tested and you have failed. There's nothing really new that you're going to bring to Ghanaians. There's no point wasting our time discussing you. How would you respond to that? Well, Richard Ahiagba and his MPP are the only waste of time here. Indeed, as I've said before, if a party is as useless as the MPP has been in power, and they have destroyed the Ghanaian economy and set our country back by decades, it does not lie in their mouth to even begin to question what proposals the opposition has to offer. As for the MPP, some rain or high water, they have to be booted out of power at the earliest opportunity on December 7, 2024, even if there is no open, because they have been a complete waste of everybody's time. They have been a veritable disaster. Their management of the economy has been nothing short of an economic atrocity, a tragedy, a catastrophe of unimaginable proportion. So they cannot even form part of the discourse of what our country should be like going forward beyond 2025. So I would promptly dismiss Ahiaba and his lion hordes in the MPP as completely irrelevant to the discussions we are having today. We in the NDC believe that because of the damage they have done to this country, we need to get our lawyers and take over the administration of this country and steer our affairs in a manner that gets us out of the mess and reposition us on the trajectory of growth and shared prosperity for all. So we say we want to build the Ghana we want together with the people of Ghana. And that, for me, is the focus of the discussion I want to have with you today. We have to do today. Now, this Ghana that we want, why didn't you deliver that Ghana to us prior to 2016? Why are you all of a sudden now telling us about a Ghana that we want? Well, I have a little problem with your question because it assumes that you can build a nation within a four, year, a four or eight year cycle. Number two, before the NPP came to power in 2016, they had been in government before between 2001 and 2009. But I heard that not to ask them why they didn't do all the things they said they would do between 2016 and 2024 when they were in power in 2001 and 2009. The point is that at every point, when the time comes for Ghanaians to choose leaders, they have to examine one, the first the, examine one, the performance of the government of the people. Because in reality, every election is a referendum on the incumbent. If the incumbent has performed well, the opposition does not get a look in. Nobody will be interested in what the opposition thinks. If people are satisfied with the performance of the government. At this stage, you don't need a suit there. In fact, even the fetus in the mother's womb will tell you that the NDP has been a disaster. So there's no question about the fact that there is a need for change. Now, having determined that there's a need for change, Ghanaians will then cast their eyes on the political landscape and determine which party has the organizational capacity to replace this bungling, non-performing, actually useless government led by President Kupado and Baumia. The party of choice is the National Democratic Congress. Now, we in the National Democratic Congress cannot take the people of Ghana for granted and assume that merely because President Kufuado and Alaji Baumia have been very terrible disasters, automatically we should replace them. We have to convince the people of Ghana that we are prepared to do the things that this government has built to do and which has left them dissatisfied. And that is why today, President Mama officially announced his decision to put himself up for election as the flag bearer of the NDC going into the 2024 election. And what he did today was to signal an intent to do things differently from the way things have been done all this while, in a manner that meets with the hopes and aspirations of the people of Ghana. All right, so the key things, he, he has explained to us the type of Ghanaian who is needed to save Ghana 
moving forward. He has highlighted the challenges of the current situation we have in our country and says that he doesn't even want to take glory because he had said that he feels vindicated, but he doesn't feel good talking about vindication because he thinks no one needs that at this time. Is this campaign against the NPP or is it a campaign against his contenders? At, at, at no point did I notice him talk about other people in the competition, even though I've heard him say that this is not the time to try. This is not some uh, time to, uh, to go for someone who doesn't know the Jubilee House, go for someone who already knows the Jubilee House, who just moved there and continue with the race. Does it mean then that the former president does not recognize his competitors internally at all, and that he's focused and interested in the MPP rather? You see, we are not in normal time. The times that we are in call for a clear vision at the very own time. The sum total of what is happening is that the NDC is electing somebody to lead the change that is so desperately needed by the people of Ghana. So anybody who wants to occupy that spot must come prepared and show that he has a plan and what it takes to execute the plan. So whilst we have respect for, the, for all the individuals who have also entered the league, Pergrama is clear in his mind that the end game, the objective, is to demonstrate to the people of Ghana that he has what it takes to lead them out of the mess that Akufuado and Baumia have teamed up to create. That is why, at the very onset, he has indicated what he is prepared to do to salvage the situation and lift us out of the gloom that we have been immersed in all these years under the rule of President Akufuado and his sidekick, Alaji Baumia. So, President Mama, even though he is speaking with NDC delegates, is also acutely aware that the people of Ghana are interested in what offerings the NDC has for them. And if, therefore, the people of Ghana, who in any event also are constituted by members of the NDC, are interested in what the NDC has to offer, then he must communicate directly to the people of Ghana. And that is what he has done. And then, finally, on this question, everybody knows that the elections we are going to have in the NDC is almost a foregone conclusion. I mean, Dr. Dufour's day for the flag bearer slot of the NDC is the most wild fantasy. Everybody knows that. Dr. Dufour himself knows that. So if that is certain and everybody knows what the outcome will be, then there's no point wasting time on exchanges that border on this internal contestation. It is important to engage the people of Ghana right at the onset so that they know that we mean business and that the NDC is prepared to step into the breach created by the hopelessness of the Akufuado Baumia tragedy. You have not mentioned Kojo Bonsu and the other gentlemen who picked the nomination forms. You only mentioned Dr. Kabna Dufour. It means that you don't even regard the other two. Well, it's not about regard for the lack of it. The point is that President Obama is clear in his mind that he stands head and shoulders about any competition that will be offered in this contest. What well, if, at the end and of the day, Dr. Kabna Dufour wins in, on May 13? Felix, what are you going to do? Be, it will be a miracle of biblical proportion if that were to happen. But you and I know that is not going to happen. I'm not part. I'm, Mama, I'm, I'm not part, Felix. Yeah, I don't know. You're on your own. Well, well, I know that you are only being diplomatic and playing the devil's advocate, as you should, given your role as a moderator or anchor of your station's uh, news program. But I do know that as somebody who has followed Ghana's policies, you are fully aware of what the outcome will be. But Brother Mama is not different. He's not wasting time. He's not putting forth. He is clear on the agenda that must be had to salvage the Ghanaian ship of state, which has been crushed by the Akufuado Baumia tag team. And that is why he delved straight into indicating some of the concrete proposals which mirror the expectations and aspirations of the generality of the people of this country. Let's leave it here. Thank you so much for speaking to us. That's Felix Kwachio Fosu. He is deputy, former Deputy Minister of uh, Communication, also a spokesperson to the John Mahama campaign.